Hello mga kawamat! So sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin ang tungkol sa chains of base formula. So a formula that allows you to write a logarithm in terms of logs written with another base. This is especially helpful when you're using a calculator to evaluate a logarithm to any base other than 10 or E or that is the natural logarithm. So, the learning competencies that you need to master here is to how to change of base formula. So, it is any logarithmic expression can be expressed as a quotient of two logarithmic expression with a common base. Let A, B, and X be positive real numbers with A is not equal to 1 and B is not equal to 1. Let's say log x with base b is equal to log x with base a all over log b with base a. For example, use the chains of base formula to rewrite the following logarithmic expression to the indicated base. So sa given natin, may ibibigay na base kung ano i-change natin. Log 4 with base 6 change to base 2. So, ibig sabihin, papalitan natin yung base natin into 2. So, using that format, so we can rewrite it into, so yung log of 4, so yung log of 4 with base 2, so mapupunta sa numerator natin. So, yung Value natin dito, so mapupunta sa numerator natin with base 2, base sa binigay na uh, given. And sa denominator nyo naman, so yung 6, mapupunta ngayon sa baba with same base, yung 2. And after that, so you can apply any properties or laws of logarithm na pwede i-apply both numerator and denominator. So, let's say itong numerator natin, we can apply that log of a raised to x with base a is equal to x. Tama? Kasi yung 4, we can express as 2 squared. Diba? One of the property, nakapag same yung base nito at yung value mo dito, kung ano yung exponent, that is the logarithm or that is your answer. So, since same sila, so ano yung exponent natin? 2. Therefore, the answer is 2 all over log of 6 with base 2. That will be the answer for this problem. Number 2. Log of 2 with base 1 half changed to base E. So, it's understood na kapag E yung base niya, that is a natural logarithm. So, using that format again, so, yung 2 natin, ilalagay natin sa numerator nyo. So, kapag natural logarithm, you can write it in LN. No? LN. So, hindi na natin ilagay yung letter E. That is considered and understood na na a uh, natural logarithm na ang base nito ay letter E. So, kapag nakita yung LN, ibig sabihin that is a natural logarithm na ang base niya ay letter E or yung base niya ay letter E. All over, so yung one half natin na base dito, ilalagay natin sa denominator. So, LN, one half. Now, using the property or any property of the logarithm na pwede natin i-apply or laws of logarithm, so pwede class yung nasa baba natin, yung LN, one half. So, that is the, uh, the logarithm of quotient. Kung saan, kapag nagdi-divide tayo, Pag inano natin yan, expand natin, it will become no, difference of the, your logarithm in numerator and the, dif of, and the logarithm in the denominator. So, anong mangyayari? LN2 all over LN1. So, if you notice class, this uh, uh, in this case, that is the logarithm of quotient, yung in-apply natin. LN1 minus LN2. And then, another property na kapag 1 yung nandito, the answer is 0. Sa mga, one, that, that is one of the property of logarithm. So, pwede yung balikan yan on our previous lesson, yung properties of logarithm. Next is, so since 0 yan, 0 minus ln2, that is negative ln2. And if we are going to divide ln2, divide by negative ln2, that is negative 1. Next. 
log 1 over 27 with base 9 change to base 3. So, papalitan natin with into base 3. So, log of 127, 1 over 27. So, lagay natin sa numerator natin with base 3. Same sila ng base. And then, log of 9 with base 3. Okay, after that, sabi ko, apply properties or laws of logarithm. So, kagaya ng 1 over 27 and 9. Si 1 or over 27, we can express as, so, dapat uh, kapag in-apply mo yung properties natin, makakuha ka na kapag nilagay mo dito, same sila nung base yung nandito, yung value mo. So, si 1 over 27, we can express as 3 raised to negative 3. Tama? So, kapag kinuha mo itong reciprocal, 1 over 3 cubed, that is 1 over 27. And yung 9 naman, we can express as 3 squared. So, therefore, uh, using property, same sila. So, kung ano yung exponent, that is our answer. Ganun din sa denominator nyo. So, that is negative 3 over 2. Or, that is negative 1.5. Next. Log of 17 with base 4 change to base 10. So, kapag uh, base 10 naman, that is common logarithm. So, pag nakita nyo yung nakaganito class, yan, ibig sabihin that is common logarithm na ang base natin ay 10. So, ulit, ang gagawin nyo lang, si log 17 na sa numerator, log 4 na sa denominator. Then, you can uh, solve this using scientific calculator if you want to uh, find the equivalent value no? to compute the approximate value of log 17 over log 4. So, using your scientific calculator, that is 2.0437. So, you can check using your scientific calculator. At mati-check natin na tama ang sagot natin kapag in-express natin as uh, exponential form itong 4 I-raise natin to as exponent. Tingnan nyo kung ang sagot ba ay 17. Okay? 4 raised to ito. Ang sagot nyo is equal to check nyo that if that is 17. Okay? So, that is for the chains of base formula. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.